Hi YouTube, uh, in this video I'm going to try to show you how to program your Fire Stick TV remote to your RCA uh, TV. Uh, this is for my particular uh, RCA model number. It's an RCA Smart TV Virtuoso, it's a 32 inch. And that's model number RNSM3203-B. Uh, also, uh, there's another video online on YouTube. I'll, I'll show you it later on uh, at, after this. Uh, that's also called the RCA Smart TV Virtuoso, but it's more like a 50 or 60 inch TV. And uh, it seems they used a different method to get their uh, remote paired. Uh, so anyways, for this one, let's get to her. Uh, I couldn't find the... So, okay, well, we'll start by doing this. First, go to your settings, right? Go down to equipment control. Manage equipment. TV. Change TV. If you haven't set one up, um, it might not say change TV. Uh, okay, change TV, yes. Okay, now we're going to go down the list of manufacturers here. Now, normally what you do is just pick your RCA TV, right? You just scroll down until you get to R. But for some reason, this RCA didn't work. So what I'm doing, and I'm assuming you've already gone through this setup for your RCA TV and didn't have any luck. So what I found is that this one right here, C-A-I-X-U-N, I don't know how to pronounce that, Sayuzun. I guess, I don't know. So I tried this manufacturer and it worked. And the way I found out this manufacturer name is I went down and looked for a um, replacement remote for this TV. This is the remote for my RCA. I went for a, to find a replacement remote on Amazon and I found out that this remote is also used by Sansui RCA, Xaxion, uh, and Bulva. Excuse my pronunciation. So. If this doesn't work for you, I recommend you try using these different manufacturers' names right here. So, Sansui, RCA, that one, and Pulva. Um, and for me, I'm using that. So, watch this. So, I'll choose that one. And then it's going to ask me to power off my, press my power button on my remote and ask if it worked. It worked. Fantastic. Press again. Power on. It's going to ask me if it worked. It's, next it's going to take me to asking me if the volume works, which it does. Up, down. Uh, my mute button is working. Um, now if I said no, it would probably... Now, we could just go through this and just say, yes, 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 we're done, and basically our remote's paired. But if it didn't work for you, using this manufacturer, you could go to no, uh, and try. Okay, so, uh... If you say no, it, it tries five more attempts. And I think basically what it's doing is it's changing the different uh, IR um, uh, settings. So, like, let's go back and I'll show you something here real quick. If you go to infrared options and click IR profile change IR profile sometimes there'll be like a list of other IR profiles here I'll say like code one group one group two group three a bunch of other stuff so if you actually try one of these other manufacturers it might just give you a list of other groups to try and sometimes switching your group will help uh, and you'll learn more about that when you go to this video here if mine didn't work for you I'll show you it all right so in this video here, this is what this guy did. He basically just changed the IR group to a different number, but he went to the uh, RCA remote profile, not the uh, the one I just used. And then he just changes the group from group one to group three. 
So this one's titled, uh, this is by Modern Day MacGyver, and the video is titled Configure Fire TV Remote with RCA Smart TV Virtuoso. Um, so yeah, if mine doesn't work, give that a try, or give these other manufacturer names a try. Um, yeah, good luck. Have a good day, YouTube. I hope this worked out for you.